Hey everyone, this is Ryan, health fitness professional with the Cardinal Health Site in Massachusetts. And today for Form Fix, what I want to go over is the perfect form for a push-up. This is something a lot of people get wrong even though they think they might be doing it just fine. A lot of people end up rounding their backs a lot or their hips are a little too far back. So what I want to do for this video is go over three specific areas where a lot of people get the push-up wrong. Those three parts are, like I said already, rounding of the back or too much bending at the hips, and more specifically, where you can put your hands when you do push-ups. So, let's get started right now. So right off the bat, you want to be careful with how your hips are placed during the push-up, whether that's on the knees or off the knees. Right now, you can see here that my hips are bent, which means that my glutes are not engaged. We want to tighten those up in order for us to better engage our core during the push-up. The core is just as important as working the chest during a push-up. Keep that in mind. If you look back a little bit, you'll see that my back is really rounded when I push myself away from the floor. That is incorrect. You do want to make sure that your back is nice and flat. I find that the best way to do that is simply keep the shoulder blades pinched together the entire push-up, whether that's going down or up. You want to hold that slight pinch in your shoulder blades in order for you to really work the chest during a push-up. And lastly, I want to go over the most common mistake we find in the push-up, and that is the placement of the hands. Usually, people will have their hands out in front. As you can see here, my hands are way out, way past my head. That is way too far forward. It's not the best position for especially the shoulder joints. You might find that your shoulders will feel very sore after a push-up. We want to avoid that as much as possible. The best placement for the hands in this push-up is to make sure that the hands are directly under the shoulders. So let's go over some correct forms for the push-up. Like I said before, with the hips, you want to make sure that you're squeezing at the glutes. That's going to really help bring the hips forward so that you can engage your core better. And you also want to make sure that your hands are right under the shoulders. And do your best to lower yourself down as close to the floor as possible with your head and your chest before you come back up into the full push-up with the straight arm. And let's go over the back. Remember, you want to have a slight pinch in your back when you do push-ups like this. Whether that's going down or going back up from the push-up, you want to keep that slight pinch in your back during the entire push-up. It's going to help keep your shoulders safe, and it's going to really help engage the chest muscles that much more effectively during a push-up. Before I forget, let's go over the width of the hands. You want to make sure that your hands are just a little bit wider than your shoulders. That way, it's going to be more effective for working the chest and not so much in the triceps. Remember, when you want to work the chest, hands out wide. When you want to work the triceps during a push-up, hands a little bit narrower. So that's it for today's form fix. Thank you for joining me. If you have any questions for us, you can always leave those questions down in the comment section below under our YouTube page, or you can always email us at our Cardinal Health Fitness Center inbox. Have a great rest of your day. Today is December 23rd, so happy holidays to all of you, and I'll see you next time. Take care, everyone.